top stories at the Sawa. The South African government condemns kidnapping of a 12-year-old boy in Malaysia and the beheaded body of a British doctor found by the roadside in Pakistan. Good afternoon. With the news at 3 o'clock, I'm Lulu Gabu. The South African government has condemned the kidnapping of a 12-year-old boy in Malaysia. The Department of International Relations has called on the government of Malaysia to continue with its efforts to secure the release of Nayati Mudlia and to bring his kidnappers to book. Nayati was kidnapped on Friday in Kuala Lumpur while on his way to school. Departmental spokesperson Clayson Munyela says the government is in contact with the family both in Malaysia and South Africa. The parents have dual South African and Dutch citizenship. Cape Town crime researcher Eldred de Klerk has warned that the killing of three men in Delft on the Cape Flats may lead to revenge attacks by rival gangs. The bodies were found in an open field with gunshot wounds to their backs and heads. Police say they are investigating whether the murders are drug or gang related. No arrests have been made. De Klerk says the incident has hallmarks of an intentional killing. What it would suggest in the area is that there's going to be an escalation in gang-related incidents of this kind as the other group seeks to retaliate for what's been happened. But this may in fact be a reta- in retaliation to something that has happened previously because um, retaliation doesn't necessarily happen immediately after something has happened. So this may be a tit-for-tat um, situation to begin with. A man has been killed and another seriously injured when the light aircraft they were travelling in crashed in Margate on the Guazulu Natal south coast. NetK911 spokesperson Chris Borta. Light aircraft has crashed on the airport ground. We arrived there and found that one man had tragically died on scene due to a very extensive injury he sustained. And another is in a very critical condition. We treated the patient and transported him through to the Netcare Market Hospital for further emergency treatment. South African winemakers are laughing all the way to the bank despite a worldwide economic downturn in the industry. Exports have grown by 21% in the financial year ending in March. Local packaged wines are in high demand overseas because of their high quality and affordable prices. New markets have also emerged in other African countries and Russia. But Wines of South Africa spokesperson Andre Mogenthal says things are not rosy for everyone. The South African wine industry is also still under pressure. Um, Some producers are, are struggling, some are doing very well. Those who have got a very strong footprint in terms of their brands overseas and in, in key export markets. A lot of wine has been exported in bulk in the last couple of years, which reduces carbon footprint, but also it's, it's cheaper to bottle in Germany or France. And further afield, the beheaded body of a British doctor working for the International Committee of the Red Cross has been found dumped by the roadside near Quetta in Pakistan. Khalil Dale was kidnapped in the southwestern city in January. The Red Cross has condemned the act. And finally, a Vietnamese-American pro-democracy activist has been arrested and accused of terrorism for allegedly trying to sabotage liberation celebrations commemorating the end of the Vietnam War. 58-year-old Nguyen Quoc Quan of California was arrested in Vietnam. The BBC's Viv Marsh has the details. State media said Nguyen Quoc Quan, an American citizen of Vietnamese origin, was detained at the airport in Ho Chi Minh City on April the 17th. He is to be investigated for allegedly planning protests on behalf of the US-based group Viet Tan, aimed at disrupting celebrations this week, marking the anniversary of the end of the Vietnam War. Dr. Quan was previously jailed and deported from Vietnam on similar charges in 2008. Viet Tan said the accusation of terrorism against him was completely fabricated.